On the student dashboard, students can view their five most recent action items. Action items refer to a to-do list that a parent can create for their child. The to-do list will be made up of topics or subtopics that parents have selected for students to revise and work on. Selecting the video icon here will take a student to the My Course video screen where students will see a filtered list of videos based on the topic or subtopic of the action item. Selecting the test icon here will take a student to the My Course test screen where they will see a filtered list of tests based on the topic or subtopic of the action item. Students can alter the status of the action item on this screen by selecting complete or incomplete to keep track of when an action item has been addressed. By selecting the view all button here, students can see the entire list of their action items. Students cannot add to their own to-do list. This is something that only parents can do from their own parent view screen. To switch between the student and parent screen, simply click on the toggle in the top right hand corner. Parents will be prompted to input their own four digit PIN code to access the parent screen. On the parent screen, you have control over the contents of the action items. By selecting the edit button here, you can alter the details of the action item for your child or student. You can change the deadline for its completion and you can add notes that will be visible to your child or student. By selecting the X button on this screen, you can remove the topic or subtopic from the action items list. Parents can add topics and subtopics from the My Course Target Areas screen or from the End of Term Reports screen. Here is the My Course Target Areas screen. Parents can select which subject they wish to review a report from. The report will show you topics and subtopics for the students' test attempts are below a certain threshold. The recommended threshold for topics to be displayed on the list is a first attempt score of less than 80%. You can change the percentage threshold as needed. Just click recalculate after making the changes. To add the subtopic to the student's action items list, simply click on the plus button in the action items column. Here is the end of term report screen. As part of the year five course, your child will be set online homework to complete every week across all four subjects mathematics, English, verbal and nonverbal reasoning. We have collected the data of their performance across their online work to help identify areas for their improvement in an end of term report. This can be used to identify action items to structure their revision. You can switch between the analysis for each subject by selecting on the name of that subject. You can view a more in-depth analysis by selecting on the topic analysis button or the subtopic analysis button. This is where you will see a table breaking down your student's performance. Their strongest subjects will be displayed at the top of the screen, while their weakest subjects will be displayed at the bottom. The plus icons can be selected on this screen to add the subtopics from the screen to a child's action items. The Manage Action Items screen is where you can view all of the action items for a child. You can use the screen to rearrange the order of the action items. To save this new order, simply select the Save button.